Welcome to Land of Outdoors. Today we got a little project here. We're gonna try to make a trowel for me, for my for my seed table, and one for my daughter. So I just got a piece of two-inch PVC pipe. I cut down lengthwise with a hacksaw. Now I'm gonna estimate the size for my grip, and I'm gonna cut in about oh I don't know probably. Maybe three quarters of an inch on that side. Same on this side. Something like that maybe. Okay, let's do it to both of them here as long as I'm gonna make two of them. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on so I don't get burned, and we're going to use the heat gun. Try to squash these down flat. And I'm just going to try to squash down the blade part of it. I'll heat this. I'm in the I'm in the Philippines, and our PVC PVC pipe is PVC something else. There's another letter on it, and you can only heat it up one time or it, it breaks. Not like Schedule 40 back home. So I'm just going to do each section at a time. Soft ready. I don't know if this will work or not, this is an experiment. But every once in a while we need a trowel. Softer there. Squash her down. There's a piece of tile or something to hold it down. Something like that. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I can do the next one too. Multitasking, huh? When you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't get the heat gun too close or you'll actually burn the plastic and you get a lot of fumes off of it. It's almost right. Okay, as you can see, this one turned out pretty nice. Now I'll cut kind of a shovel shape out of the blade and then I'll give it just a little bit of a curl. 
and it should be it. I wish we had a we had a little jigsaw. It'd be a little easier than the hacksaw, but we we'll use what we have. Okay. Why don't you pause for right now, and we'll get back to you. Okay, we're back. What I did was I cut out the general shape of a trowel out of these right here. And I think what I'm going to try to do is, is to fold over the handle first. What my goal is, I'm just going to try to roll these little pieces here up into kind of like a handle. Don't know if it'll work or not, but give it a try. And then when that cools down, I'll try to give the blade a little bit of a shape. Soft. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try to I don't know if that's gonna work. Good idea, but Hold it. I'm going to settle for that like that. Instead of rolling them up, we'll roll them on top of each other, I guess. And let it cool down. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. Now we have a handle kind of rolled over. It didn't work quite quite like what I wanted it to. Now I'm just going to heat up the, the, the blade and just give it a, gen, a gentle bend to give it kind of a trowel shape. We won't be doing any heavy digging with these things. My daughter, she just likes messing around with the dirt, and I'll I'll use it in a in pots and stuff. You know, doing seedlings and stuff like that. So problem with this stuff here is, is it cracks a lot of times the second time you use it. So see, it's kind of curling up on its own now. It's actually pretty good. Look at that. better than I thought. Hmm. And then what I'll do is basically uh, 
sand those down, the edges down a little bit, and sharpen the tip. Oh, let's burn that one. Yeah, not paying attention. Handle's coming apart a little bit too, though that's not good. Down. and we'll be back right. again we're back this is pretty much the finished trowel I'm running out of light here it's almost six o'clock gets dark here at six o'clock in the Philippines um, turned out pretty nice kind of a wrap-around handle a trowel shape what I'll do is file down the edges on it a little bit and uh, we'll see how it works seems to be pretty strong all right this is what we wound up with I've got two PVC trowels and painted one green, one white. Obviously not perfect, but look pretty nice. And I've got them stuck out here in the sun to dry. Pretty good little project. 